lack of. And we could see power outages over the next several days from Debbie. Duke Energy is preparing for any problems in their coverage areas of North and South Carolina. Chelsea Donovan has more on how state and local emergency crews are getting ready for this storm. I always say if there's ever a storm with a name coming your way, you should have a plan in place. It's a solid message from Jeff Brooks with Duke Energy. Prepare for Tropical Storm Debbie now. He's already in Florida doing just that. I think we're in pretty good shape at the moment. We're just going to be watching the forecast over the next 24 to 48 hours. Duke Energy is ready with crews in the Carolinas on standby and hundreds of linemen and utility workers now in Florida responding to Debbie's impacts. We're going to see conditions with Debbie that are very similar to potentially what we saw during Hurricane Florence, that sort of slow plotting uh, pace of the storm with a lot of heavy rain. And that heavy rain and flooding also a concern at the state level. We may see some gusty winds, so we're concerned about the uprooting of trees with saturated soils already. The State Emergency Operations Center is in the enhanced watch mode, ready to help with local governments and getting response plans in place as well. Prepare now if you've not already done so. You need to go to readync.gov and you should have a disaster kit in your home and a plan in place. Have your hurricane and disaster kit ready should you lose power. That means food, water, medications, flashlights, and also taking the necessary measures to prepare your home.